Why is my cursor a ball? What is this? For those of you who don't know what's happening right now, essentially, Professor Layton was like my childhood, and I love those games. And I was thinking, man, it'd be really cool just after uni, after some busy days, I can just put them on stream, you know, play them through with people. I thought it'd be fun. I'm sure the Nintendo Switch will have some port of it on, like, the store. It does not. It has this game, which is not Professor Layton. I, I don't care what this says up here. No, 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 no. So I don't know how this is going to go. I just want some puzzles, man. And I'm hoping that the story isn't going to make me cry. Are you serious? <laughs> this makes no sense. You know, maybe, maybe this will be good. I'm going to be, I'm going to stop being such a downer. <laughs> Let's just see what this is. Oh, yo, we're, we're an actual agency. Instead of just a guy in a car with a small child. <laughs> when I say it out loud, it doesn't sound as great. The letter K has fallen down from the sign above the cake shop. Use the three triangles to make the letter K inside the box. We can make the letter K, I'm sure. Wait, can I? <laughs> wait, wait, can I? Okay, I'm expecting they're supposed to like overlap, right? So how do we do this nicely? Oh my goodness, Jack's actually having a crisis right now. I gotta make the letter K inside the box. Maybe I've gotta make it with like the white lines? <laughs> you know what? I might have been a bit overly confident with my abilities here. How do, I, how do I make this K? Oh! Hang on! Brainwave! I'm supposed to use the rest of the sign, like an inverse thing. So maybe that goes here. And then... Oh! This goes here. Yep. Like that? No, that doesn't that doesn't actually make sense at all. <laughs> Wait, that's not it? I feel like that should be it. <laughs> this is a 20 point puzzle! <laughs> How am I gonna survive this? If I can't make the letter K. Oh, hang on, got it. Got it. I was right, I was right. I'm just having these angled the wrong way. Like I need them like that. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah! God! <laughs> we're, in, we're in for a long night, everyone. <laughs> Alright, thank you, talking dog. You're... This... I, I don't know why. This girl just seems very smug. <laughs> I want you to find out who I really am. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wow, what a jerk. What a jerk I am. <laughs> I can. You will? Well, that's great! Oh, but I must insist on my fee, even for man's best friend. Strict capitalism. I'm liking it. Now, you'll need a name. How about... Sherl? <laughs> Sorry, Inspector. To ensure you... Uh, answer your question. No, Sherl here isn't a pet. Rather, he's my very first client. <laughs> and this is raising no red flags as we're saying it. The first to have signed on the dot line and list my services. He did... He didn't sign on. You signed for him. Man of common sense here. He's digitally in bed. Do all people with this accent just not pronounce their H's? <laughs> well, let's hope you can put your money where your mouth is, because we need all the help we can get on this one. Hell, isn't there a little matter we're forgetting about? Yeah, we've kind of just ditched our first client straight away. What about figuring out my identity? Jesus, what? This lady is savage. Well, the trouble is, this new case is just sounds a lot more interesting. What the? Just no respect for the, the talking dog. <laughs> interesting. You decide which case to investigate based on how interesting they are, do you? Exactly. What a psychopath. Big Ben, have they stolen the clock? Oh, they've stolen a hand of the clock. Okay. Only on one side, though. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think we've got it. <laughs> now... Uh, pardon me if I don't understand how Big Ben is built, but aren't there like lights illuminating the clock face at all times? How the hell did someone steal it? But there are four clock faces in Elizabeth, Elizabeth Tower. Can we just call it Big Ben, please? The problem is, would you a visit tomorrow from Ambassador? Um, yep. <laughs> and as a symbol of the timeless friendship and cooperation between our two lands, they plan on giving him a present. A pendant model on the hands of Big Ben. I don't, I mean, obviously stealing a, something from a national landmark in a country is pretty bad, but this isn't the end of the world. 
It's true, the shorthand really is missing. I think this is kind of the fourth, fifth time we've mentioned it. Yes, it's only the one so- We know! We know! <laughs> we've been here for the last ten minutes discussing this! Alright, so it's just one shorthand that we're looking for- YES! YES IT IS! Haha! <laughs> -ha. This is turning into a very interesting case, you psychopath. Right, let's begin by asking Inspector Hastings' team what they've learnt so far. That's right, why don't- uh, why do the work yourself when you can get someone else to do it for you? <laughs> is that all you wanted? I tell you what, how about a little puzzle occupy the mind? Thank God. <laughs> I say a puzzle. The world is full of puzzles, Ernest. <laughs> I don't know why this dialogue's making me crack up. <laughs> Sometimes during the course of an investigation, people do come out with puzzles for you to solve. It's all part of the process. I don't think police in real life have to quickly play a short minigame when they're investigating a brutal murder. So let's see what sort of puzzle we're dealing with here. Is it the puzzle of life? I'm failing at that. Okay, the clock is currently showing the time as 3.30pm. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. What would be the minimum number of places you'd need to touch on the clock to show the desired time? I don't get what the question's asking me. <laughs> the minimum number of places you'd need to touch. I mean, if I didn't touch the clock at all and waited eight and a half hours, it would show midnight. So the minimum number of places I'd need to touch on the clock to show the desired time is zero. Because I don't need, I just need to wait, right? Oh, genius big brain player right there. Oh, yes, we're getting that right now. <laughs> Miss Inspector Hastings, please, you mustn't be so blinkered. Sometimes you have to take a step back in order to see things for what they really are. This is also known as being a lazy bastard. Are you sure leaving the scene is the best idea, Cat? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Come along now. There is, in this dictatorship, there is no, just, there is no option to disagree with Cat. You either, you ride or die with her. In Cat's dictatorship, we decide what cases we choose purely by interest and not by the fact that the amnesia case should surely take precedence over the clock hand missing. On the, uh, uh, along those signs, we're also going to abuse the living hell of our assistant and pretend like we don't have something wrong with us considering there's a dog we're talking to. We're here for a mini break, aren't we? Yeah, for some f fucking reason. Good idea. First, let's have something to eat! This is the perfect opportunity to have a stroll down lane and get better acquainted with our neighborhood. Meanwhile, two active crimes. I see, well thank you. Now, would it be alright if I ordered? I like the squidding spaghetti with the <laughs> herb salad on the side, please. Stop having a lunch break at a restaurant while there's a crime going on! And then the chef's om omelette om om special, the hellfire risotto, and the mushroom surprise gnocchi all at the same time! You're ordering a banquet! The Big Ben's head has been stolen! You don't have time for this! This dog has amnesia! And you're ordering a four-course meal for lunch! How are you affording this even? You've just opened your agency! <laughs> Is this- And this relates to the main case? The fact that this guy is missing cutlery? Alright, we've satisfied our appetites, yes, but now we've enjoyed a meal, there's something that uh, must come before anything else. Is it a puzzle? Fuck off. Ha. <laughs> huh. You know what they say, Shell, there's always room for dessert. Maybe, you know what, I think this is a metaphor, right? Catriel represents a black hole that sucks all the joy and life out of this game into her stomach. <laughs> Just watch, these fucking sweets are somehow gonna connect to the case, I know. It's gonna happen somehow. Now let's investigate all the tempting offers they have on sale. How about investigating the case? Yes! Wait, wait, the, the clock in here isn't running though. Oh my goodness, connections. No, naturally I understand how he feels. That's a lie, that's a lie. This isn't running, what do you mean? We just said this is broken. Oh, it's a cake. <laughs> it's a cake, okay. Cake clock, oh no. Oh, the Big Ben, they made, they made Big Ben into a cake, guys. That's the answer here. And the back is something that looks like the hand of a clock. <gasps> oh! I I've just figured it out. I've just figured out what's happened. Okay. They've worked together, the brothers here, right? They've decided, okay, the, the metal in this clock hand is clearly worth a lot of money. 
for whatever reason this game wants me to, to believe, right? So the guy's made a cake clock hand. I'm so, aren't we so happy that she's managed to, because of her enormous gluttony and stomach, the black hole within her, has led to a development in this case. Well, if it was if it was made of cake, wouldn't there be cake at the bottom of the tower? It fell. Yeah, probably. I think we're about to investigate that. Let's carry on down Chancellor Lane. We keep heading north. We'll arrive back at the office. Well, I know what you're thinking, Miss. We're stopping in for a quick strategy meeting. I I think we kind of know what our next move is, guys. Wrong. There's a lovely little boutique shop. Oh, come along. The boutique waits. <laughs> We don't have time for this! Will it be open, do you think, miss? Perhaps it's a close of the day, it's just a small shop. Hmm, you could be right, Ernest. Well, there's only one way to find out. Breaking and entering! I think I'll have to decline, I'm afraid. We're in the middle of an important investigation at the moment. It doesn't really feel like it, though, does it, Cat? Consider when we're going to a boutique shop! No, no, don't say no. If you don't like my popinos, how about a puzzle? Ah, oh, you've won us back. Never mind. <laughs> one of the colors can be seen every day. Okay, sometimes you don't always have a blue sky. Sometimes you don't always have white clouds. Sometimes you don't always have a black sky. But you do have black lampposts, whatever whatever happens. I'm a genius. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. You did it. The paint colors are representing the appearance of the sky. Black is the night sky, blue is the sky on a, cl a clear day, and white is the sky on the cloudy day. The color that can be seen every day, regardless of the weather, is the black of the night sky. Well, that was a complete guess. But I'm in the mood for shopping right now. Do you think it's really closed? You don't think the owner will open up for me? No when to give up, Cat. Again, Cat the psychopath right now. There's always a puddle here after it rains. Oh, did it rain yesterday then? One of my neighbors said it was raining in the middle of the night. Yes, that's how the cake got ruined, guys. Bam! Aha, I've got it. I know what happened to the missing clock hand. You do? You know... I've kind of figured it out. I think Cat here's a bit late to the party. All in good time, Ernest. We need to have a big reveal in front of all the parties accountable in this. I wonder. Uh -huh. Yes, the hand of the clock must have been an enormous wafer. But but they still somehow managed to lift the clock hand from the tower into wherever they're hiding it without anyone noticing. I think that's the one thing we've already got to remember here is that they've managed to commit this heist and no one saw them carrying it. It's the truth that's crazy, not me. No, you're mental. It's, the truth is stranger than fiction. it's really not that strange. This is all quite reasonable. I mean, you're unreasonable. I dropped the hand. Aww. Now ambassador is coming. Wait, and we wait, wait, hang on a minute. You say you drop you dropped the hand. But you're an engine! You walk on the clock tower! You can repair the damn thing! And it's metal! It's not like it's fragile glass or anything, it's literally steel! That doesn't break! And you can repair it as well. I am so done. Are you serious? This makes no sense! You broke you broke the hand, and so you go to your identical brother who says, Yo, don't I need you to make <laughs> I need you to make an exact replacement that would fool everyone <laughs> with from a giant fucking wafer. And you're a you can repair the hand! Uh, they lack brain cells and wear glass with overlays. Do you really think they actually have the knowledge to necessarily fix the hand? But that doesn't matter! Their, their clock repair, they could, I'm sure they can go to their boss and just say, Hey, I broke the hand. Or don't even that, just say, Hey, the hand broke by itself. Like, just lie. Lie about it. What do you mean that the first option that you go to is to make a cake hand? What is the thinking here? What is this? If you stole it for money, I would understand completely. But... <laughs> You stole it to cover up a mess up that you could have just lied about to begin with. <laughs> I'm so done! This game is dumb! Easy? Yes. Make another one. What do you mean? The solution here is not to make another cake! <laughs> The whole point 
of this investigation is to not look like a complete clot in front of the ambassador of whoever this is from a made up place, right? And so, to ensure that she doesn't know that they're missing a clock hand from the tower, they're going to present her with a giant cake of a clock hand that's currently missing from the tower. What? That doesn't help anything! <laughs> I'm so- this series used to be so good! But okay, 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 okay. This foreign di dignitary gets the life-size replica of a fucking hour hand right from Big Ben for some reason. What are they then supposed to do with it? Carry it around everywhere? No, they're stuck with a- <laughs> they're just stuck holding this thing, which they can't even hold because it's a giant cake. <laughs> they eat it, they eat the whole thing. Yeah, but that only works if they have the stomach of this psychopathic wonderkin over here. Wonderkin's too good of a word. It's just... Oh, okay. And here he is eating it! Wait, that's not the life... That is not a life-size replica of the hour hand. That's tiny! This guy could have just fixed it! I'm, I have it on good authority from the fact that I have more brain cells than this game and cat combined. The life-size replica of the hand, the hour hand of Big Ben would be bigger than my arm width. Let's also bring this back another step, right? Don't like cakes that take a life-size version of a thing. Like for instance, Big Ben's hour hand, right? It's massive, right? Don't they take at least Days to make. Days! So this guy breaks the hour hand, right? Realizes, oh god, the guy's coming next, you know, in a few days. We've gotta make <laughs> I'm sorry, it's still ridiculous. We've gotta make an hour hand replica to cover my fuck up, which we could easily repair because it is a metal hand, remember? So it went off like clockwork. Oh, no! What do you mean it went off like clockwork? The clock isn't even working! And Britain placed the friendly ally to European names were fairly re-established. It's not like this <laughs> This psychopath is saying that if she did not solve this case of the fucking cake hour hand, that Britain was gonna lose its alliance with Europe. There was gonna be World War Three. Brexit would have been so much worse if because, oh no, we're missing one hour hand to Big Ben, a tower that need I remind you has four sides. <laughs> A big thank you to the wonderful Patreons Yoba, Luke78776, Ren, Calador Bagel, and Albert Pammer. This is this is this is a YouTube video. This is becoming a YouTube video. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> okay everyone.